In this video, I'm going to show you how to unzip JPA files. You might be wondering what those are. We're going to talk about that very quickly, uh, but you're probably here because you need to. So let's get right to it. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 198 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. This video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the information and tools that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. Okay, so JPA files, they are a, if you know of zip files, they are a, for, a format of com, uh, files compressed into one file that end, has a file ending JPA. And if you are uh, using a, a Kiba backup, which is the go-to backup uh, extension for Joomla, uh, one of the options in the default option is that the site will be backed up to a JPA file. It also is the same situation if you're using a Kiba backup for WordPress, a JPA file. And it gets tricky to, if you want to get one file out of a JPA file, it gets a little bit tricky because there's not a lot of programs that can do it, but there is one that we're going to look at today. So let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll get right to it. All right, so uh, here's a familiar site. We're in the back end of a Joomla site and this is the Akiba Backup Control Panel. When we go to Manage Backups, we'll see that this site has three backups. Now I have one here from June the 10th and uh, um, it's a JPA file. I could download this, but you don't want to do that during, through the browser because it can corrupt the download. You want to do it through a file manager in your hosting control panel. Or if you have a professional version of Keep Backup, you can uh, set a Keep Backup to back up to a Dropbox or to um, a Google Drive or something, and then you could just download them or even have them automatically on your computer. Um, earlier today, I needed to get a file from a very old JPA backup that uh, I'd accidentally deleted in newer versions. And, uh, uh, oh, I have to give credit to my good friend, Chait Madan, for uh, tipping me off that uh, Akiba Backup provided this program. So, uh, the precursor to this, of course, is you go to your control panel for your web hosting, click on File Manager, Manager, go to the location where your download file is stored on your server if you have it there if it's not putting it somewhere else and you can find that in a Kiba backup uh yeah keep a backup control panel and then you would just go to configuration the profile you're using here it is output directory i've changed it to the site root forward slash bck all right and in that folder you will see your backups so simple, what you're going to do is, uh, uh, we're not going to delete that. We're going to download that and we will download it to our computer. All right, so wherever you've got the file on your computer, you've got that. Next, you're going to go to akiba.com, download Akiba Extract Wizard, and I will give you the uh, link in the video description below to this. Uh, this is free, you don't even have to be logged in. You can go to whichever version for your computer, Windows, Linux, Mac, that you are using that is compatible, <coughs> excuse me, and then you're just gonna download that like you would any other program you're installing on your computer. So let's save that. Down in the left-hand corner here, I'm using Chrome. I can simply, once the uh, uh, antivirus check runs there, I can click on Setup Akiba. All right, I'm gonna say yes. And I'm going to install it into the folder that it wants to go into. Next. And I'm going to create a desktop shortcut and a quick launch shortcut. Why not? All right. And we will install. Now, uh, I'm going to launch this right off the beginning. And so let's launch it. We'll click finish. Now, the next thing you want to do is just do this. Go to the location of your backup file which I put in here into this folder here, JPA files. There it is. All right, and we will click select it. We'll click open, and then you can extract to a folder. This automatically picks the same folder. If you want to put it somewhere else, you could pick a different folder. If your JPS file or JPA file happened to have um, 
a, uh, a password on it. This is where you put your password and uh, you have the option to ignore most errors and you can do a dry run test if you want. I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna click extract and we will watch this progress bar zip across. And what's going to happen is later on down here in this folder here where that extraction is, oh, it's on my other screen, we're going to get a folder which then will have the uh, folders and all of the files from the JPA file or the JPS file and the backup of your Joomla site and any files you need to find and rescue will be in one of those folders. So we don't need to watch the rest of that happen. Uh, but if you're stuck getting a file out of a JPA uh, archive file as like zip uh, compressed together, JPS, uh, use Akiba, uh, use Akiba Extract Wizard for Windows or Linux or Mac OS. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to the channel. That's very encouraging. It'll help others to find this content too. Uh, give the video a like. Uh, when you subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications. And of course, YouTube's popping up videos for you to watch here. Uh, something to watch next? Go ahead and do it. There's lots of helpful things on the channel. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.